A survivor of child abuse reached out to me. They say there's a site crawling with predators. You and I are gonna find them, pry them, and them. I'm sitting in my room on a warm spring night. Just finished watching my cartoons and can't help but feel this enormous sense of loss inside. Not from the anime, not from a girl, but from the hole in my heart where you used to be. I'm probably just going through about a depression, or maybe I'm a bit jaded at this point in my life. But there was one thing that did make me feel alive hunting predators. I liked it. You ever see a cannibal taste human flesh for the first time and then that's all they hunger for? That's me right now. I try to fight this inner famine at first, but the cravings only grow. I can't anymore. In an instant, I'm frantically mashing my mouse and keyboard looking for my next victim. Anyone who even thinks of hurting one little hair on any child is on my menu. Your scent does not escape you. I can smell you. Be it across the street or on the other side of the world, I am on your trail. I will find you. And A handful of hours vanish in my hunt. I scour YouTube looking for anything remotely related to the Elsa Gate cult. However, nothing but horribly rendered finger family animations and pregnant Elsa Spider-Man skit videos turn up. But nothing illegal here. I'm starving. And yet the will to find the source of Cartoon Incorporated quells at the current moment. So here I sit. Left with an overwhelming emptiness. I almost give up. Just kidding, I never even get close to giving up. I'm your mama. I open up my emails to see if anyone found a predator for us to dine on tonight. Thank you, kind viewer, for your submission. I will look into it. Childrenschat.net I can't find any references to it on any online encyclopedia. Only a handful of obscure posts buried in time, claiming it's an unmoderated septic tank of pedophilia and underage sexting. Allegedly, it is shared amongst pedophile circles and extremely popular on the deep web. I don't doubt it. The only true source of information I could collect about this monstrosity is from the site itself. Launched in 2002. 18 years this went on. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna do something about that. Welcome to Children's Chat Net. We are your number one source for free chat rooms and informative blogs for kids and younger teens. We welcome all boys and girls. There are some chat room rules you must agree to first before proceeding. After reviewing them, please proceed to click the I accept to proceed. A wide variety of information such as safety tips and active blog will be updated frequently. Please enjoy your stay. Safety should be your number one priority. Whether you are just bored or want to meet your online friends or random strangers, this is your one-stop place. Please make sure that you keep safety in mind first and foremost. Follow all the chat rules below and do not proceed 
until you have read through each and every one of them. Stay safe and enjoy our blogs, safety tips, and chatting. Grammatical errors on an 18-year-old website alone would have been sus enough for me, but I can't help but wonder why they decided a hipster with a full beard, a faceless businessman, a middle-aged librarian, and a Super Saiyan school shooter with a trench coat was a sensible design decision for a children's chat room website. They are literally the faces of their homepage, juxtaposed only by a summoning circle of kids holding hands and dancing around. And the ads so it looks like they know exactly who their main demographic is supposed to be. Something is off here. I'm in. something definitely off. Within an hour of observation and saying absolutely nothing, I was already spammed with ten or more different chat logs opening up in front of me with one acronym, A-S-L, that is age, sex, and location. Being the prowler, I act under the guise of a 13-year-old girl from Dallas, Texas, to see who bites. Every. Single. One was older than 18. They are fucking done for. Daddy here, ASL. 12 female from Texas, and you? I'm a 38. I need a baby girl. So much. I'm married, but unhappy. What do you do in your free time? With you? Sure. The shit I'm not even gonna read or show. I don't know what half of those words mean. I'll show you. Are you done to video chat summertime? Oh, hell yes I am. What's your number? No. Okay, do you prefer Skype or Discord? Snap a chat. I don't have that, sorry. Kick. Skype or Discord. Can you download Wicker Me or Telegram? I don't know how. Please download Skype or Discord for me. Do me a favor and download Wicker Me. It's very easy. Free download, no registration. Just make a name and password. Go to the App Store. Tap Wicker Me. This literally continues with an entire explanatory rundown of how to install an app. I don't say anything. Ten minutes pass and then... Okay, where's your Skype and Discord? Gotcha, bitch. You are nothing but a flea to me trying to bite my children. And I... Under the weight of only my fingertips. <laughs> All of them employ their own unique method. Some will offer money to the child for a meetup. Some will pretend to be an adolescent boy or girl to build rapport and befriend the child first. Some will ask the child for their address, phone number, or social media. Some will ask the child if they want to be a model and then link to a cam show site. Some will try to flirt, seduce, and roleplay with the child. And some just come right out and say they're a 40 year old who wants to have sex with a minor and start sending pictures of their Seeing the revolting nature of these vermin causes me livid rage. But maybe the site isn't all to blame about this. 
After all, there's a plethora of rules and regulations set in place. They even claim to report predators to the authorities. Oh, how thoughtful of you. Is it true that you've put older users in prison? Well, we cannot disclose any details of past or pending cases. Oh, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. We actively work with law enforcement agencies around the world and many users who should not be here and groom or exploit young kids, teens, and children will face the fullest punishment of the law. Young kids, teens, and children will face the fullest punishment of the law? That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Oh, or is this another grammatical error? I can't tell anymore. It's almost as if the people who created this website don't natively speak English. Hmm. Regardless, I give them the benefit of the doubt. I report the predators to the moderators, because they and the authorities are monitoring the website as they say. I open up the report button and... What the fuck is this? An empty email, subject, and message box? Well, this is a pitiful excuse of a report system for a website that boasts about such robust security and protection. But still, I will give them plentiful benefits of the doubts, more than they should ever deserve, and fill out this document. Predators on your website. I've been on your website for a little over an hour and I've already been messaged by over 10 different predators asking for sexual favors. What are you going to do about this? I then hit send. Surely if the site is surveyed and investigated as much as they claim, these predators will be subpoenaed and imprisoned for their actions. And just so I can make sure that they are, I'm keeping tabs on a few of them to see what happens. And if nothing does, we'll just have to do it ourselves. A week goes by. I get an email back from the administrator himself. Arkham at childrenschat.net Where are the 10 screenshots of this activity? Something could be done if people send proof in the form of screenshots. Are you fucking kidding me? So that means they've gotten reports before and have done nothing about them. Because they actually aren't monitoring the chat logs. And that must also mean the users who are reporting predators really are children. Too young and uneducated to know how to do so. For future reference, Windows key plus print screen. The images will appear here. For Mac users, buy a PC. But if I needed to provide screenshots, why in JESUS CHRIST name are you not providing that or any other relevant info on your godforsaken report page? No prompts for the type of report. No information of what I need to include in the report. No features to screen clip or select users or even paste usernames. Just empty fucking boxes. Fuck you. Luckily for us, I recorded everything. You've got mail. One week, nothing. Two weeks, nothing. A month, nothing. Except, oh wow, they banned my IP from using the website. Trying to hide from us, are you? That brings us to today's sponsor, NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash mamamax and use code to get 100% off your first 30 years of NordVPN. You can't hide from Mama Max, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah! Just kidding. All you gotta do is go to my Patreon. Link in description. I really would not be able to do this without y'all. Thank you so, 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 so much. Anyway, they blocked my IP. Trying to hide from us, I guess. We'll get back to them on that. In the meantime, it's time to take justice into our own hands. Let's start off with the I've been keeping tabs on. The first one goes by Jerry. Hi Jerry. I got him to add my catfish account on Discord, where I've been social engineering him to give me his personal info. 
He's got his mind too far in the gutter focused on sexualizing and flirting with little girls, so nothing I can really work with. Except the only thing we really need. His face. Take it in. Absorb it. Remember it. And if you see this man, report him to the police. I send in what I've found and move on to the next guy, on Skype. Going under the alias of Kentata. This just kept sending me his penis and kept asking if I like it. He even captioned one of them saying, Nice dick. <laughs> I've also tried calling him with my voice mod ready, but he didn't answer. I want to know how handsome you are. Show me your face, please. Hey! Sorry, not face. You know we do forbidden things. But I won't say anything. You can trust me. I'll send pics if you do, winky face. First, you, my girl. I want two pictures. One in the face with the tongue removed, and one clean, nude photo. I was like, what the hell? You want me to remove my tongue? He didn't answer, so I just did what I could best understand from his description. Got some leaked OnlyFan pictures from a random short young lady. I photoshopped them so he couldn't reverse image search. Put a cute caption, and pray for a face. The f just sends me more of his dick pics. This dude was stretching out my patience to its last nerve. His sickening demeanor and unwillingness to submit to me has reached its apex. Oh yeah, my gonna do this the hard way. I hop on the deep web and get in contact with an online bounty hunter, who has asked to stay anonymous. I pay him to geotrace and track this Kintada to send me all of his personally identifying records. He searches. We destroy. He came back to me after a few days and found his full name, phone number, and general location within a 50 mile radius. But hold on. I need to verify this information so I know for sure that this guy is the predator I'm talking to. So I act under the guise of an agent from the Microsoft security team and text the phone number that was given to me by the bounty hunter. I say that there's been a potential cyber attack on his account and I ask him to confirm his username. If it is identical to the Skype account I've been talking to, it's our guy. I fucking found you. As for his private data, doxing this v to you vigilant, just as hungry folks out there would please me more than anything, but it would be best if I stay within my legal limit, so I'll keep it private between me and law enforcement. Last Man Standing Taken But Sad 2020 He never added me on Skype or Discord. I guess he's too smart for that. He did, however, find my catfish email that's attached to those accounts. Now, I have no idea how he did this. The only places I've used this email address were on Discord, Skype, and Children's Chat. And as far as I'm concerned, they don't publicly share that information. Unless there was a security breach or I forgot to privatize that info, I haven't the slightest clue how he was able to find it. But here he is. All he sent was an mp3 file. Labeled. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's him. I don't even know if it's real. All I can tell you is what I heard. 
the screams of a girl, and the panting of a man. I try to contain myself, reply with a friendly message, and send him a care package that I hope he opens, though he most likely won't. I feel defeated, but can't give up now. One more enemy to deal with. I will destroy your high places, cut down your incense altars, and cast your carcasses on the lifeless forms of your idols and my soul shall abhor you. I will not stand for this. I will not live in a world that lets these build their own empire on the corpses of our sons and daughters, then walk free like they do no wrong. I will not participate in an apathetic universe that concedes to the vile repugnance I've witnessed today. We're gonna do something about it. The internet is not an Elysian field with ponies and rainbows. It can be, but it can also be a suicide-inducing outland for even a fully grown adult, let alone a child. I wouldn't be surprised if the creators themselves are predators, a website by pedophiles, for pedophiles. I mean, why else would they not shut the shit down? That's literally a question posted on their frequently asked questions section. Well, if we shut down our website, the predators will just go someplace else. So we might as well stay the main hub for the predators. That is a sad, pathetic, not to mention an extremely self-incriminating excuse to keep your website up. So it's clear now, the moderators and admins don't give a fuck about what happens to children on their domain. But I do. If my findings weren't enough already to convince you, look here. I found one obscure YouTube video titled Children'sChat.net. 15 minutes as a 12 year old in a chat room. Almost every person messaging her is a predator. So what I found isn't a rare occurrence just because I'm purposefully looking for them. This is a pattern. Reports of child sexual abuse material online have only increased 10,000% since 2004. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if a large chunk of that was from childrenschat.net. It is so extremely depressing. Because there are real children on this website. Nah, not okay. Up to every 10 seconds a kid out there is right now killing themselves from the manipulation a predator tormented them with. And another is sold into sex slavery from an online stranger they thought was their friend. Our progeny wander off into the darkest most disgusting, semen-dripping, sweat-stained, and blood-soaked crevices of the internet. And this website somehow remains, as if it's innocent. Just look at you, with your faces. You disgust me. Even if you yourselves are not actual predators, you are complicit in the harm that has befell the children you lured to them. Demonstrating the bare minimum amount of effort to fix your failures. So along with the pedophiles, I do hold you personally responsible and see that you are unfit to continue. I have made an attempt to begin their end and put them down on my own. But the genesis of an online takedown evidently requires more hands than just my own. I will leave a link in the description where you may carry out your own investigation, record your findings, and send them to the police, send them to the FBI, send them to your local news, send them to every person you know who has a child. You don't even need to mention this video, I don't care about the views at this point. I just want kids to be safe. It breaks my goddamn heart to see so many stories from the survivors of child exploitation that reach out to me, all of them without their parents even knowing what the hell was happening to them. Every one of them absent of anyone who cares enough to see justice for their suffering. But now we're here. I will do my job and continue to haunt these sickos. All I ask is that you do yours to keep your children away from them. And if you yourself are a victim of child predators, please do not be afraid to speak up about it. 
I know it's scary and embarrassing and feels disgusting, but no one feels that way about you. We feel that way toward them. I promise once you reach out, you'll feel real freedom and power over them. Be stronger than they are. If they threatened your life, we will threaten theirs. Put them in prison for what they did to you. You really could save another child from the trauma you suffered if you do something about it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. J Boss TV OK is gay. Brief insanity TV that nigga Dan P. Quentin CD Witch and Ouija Lieutenant Jinxie suck my pee pee. Oscar I hate your memes. Ricardi B. Isaiah Wamsley retarded being. Kiri Firo Kyle Karada Phil You Slut. CZ Gaming 10 T 10 Great and Unknown 608 or 8. Matthew Bozart the kinda guy to bubble heart. Mr. Higgles were mega dizzy. Dante and Dismal Abysmal please die from a missile. Brandon Ahimovic Sid Voice Iris Sir Atlich and Nicker Prick. Cordy Pie I am Ross Gaia 69 and Tyler Meyer set yourselves on fire. Elena and Strom, Nicole, Raquel, and Commonwealth, and Copper Shore, off yourselves, yours. Good to you, Serenade, Chronic Masturbator, and Kylum Ritter, Calisator, Shadow Dome, Mozilla, and Homo Silva, you're no killin'. Maru, the world, and Voidhead, Nell, my cock, come pull. Rattled Bones, Adam Jones, Alex Najar, Joe Last, and Jason Hollis, more on a holic. Quinn Webbling, Uncaring Bastard, G Walking, Quit Your Gawking, Manuel Paridas, Chef is Jesus, Rest in Pieces, Fablo's Psycho Audio, Era, Nowhere to Go, and Silfit. Fuck you.